Hello guys, what's up everyone? I'm Christopher from this China, Germany and today I'm showing you how to install the latest Android 4.4.2 KitKat ROM onto the Chaya U G6 Fablet. Now, for this to work, you need a few files and you find the links to every single one of them in the video description below. So make sure to download everything in there and um, extract the zip files to get everything working properly. I have downloaded everything already, so we can start right away. So for this tutorial, we're assuming that you have never flashed a MediaTek phone before. So I'm quickly showing you how to prepare your computer for that. So what you need to do is to install the MediaTek preloader driver for it to work. Now, this is fairly simple on any Windows version except Windows 8 and 8.1 where you first need to disable the driver signature before you can install this driver. Now, I am running Windows 8.1 as well and I will quickly show you how to do this. So first of all, you open up your Shams bar, then click on settings, then on on off, hold down your shift key and then click on reboot. Now it will reboot into the recovery and troubleshooting menu as you can see here. You click on troubleshooting, then on advanced options and then to start up settings. Click on reboot and now it will reboot and give you with a menu of several options. And let me just wait for this to boot up. So here we go. Now we have one option which is called um, disabling of driver signature or something in English. I have it in German here right now, but it's number seven and I assume it's the same for English as well. So I press seven and it will boot me up to Windows once again. Okay, so now I'm back in Windows with disabled driver signature. And what I do now is to open the file explorer. Um, make sure you are on this PC or this computer. Click on system info, then on device manager. And now turn your Chaya G6 off. It has to be turned off, this is very important and then attach the micro USB cable to the phone and then you will see a new device pop up here which is called MT65XX Preloader. Now you click on update driver software, you look for the driver software on your computer, then go to downloads or wherever you extracted the driver to and just hit this um, folder and it will choose the driver software automatically and install it. It will ask if you really want to install it because it has no driver signature. You say yes I want and then uh, the MediaTek preloader driver will be installed and this is as I said very important as it's needed to flash a ROM. So now as we have finished installing the driver software we are good to go with flashing. But before you flash your phone make sure you have your IMEI number in place because this is gonna be lost during the flashing process because we are gonna format the whole phone. This is a little bit different than with other phones where you don't need to format the whole phone but here it is necessary so please make sure you have a backup of your IMEI number. You can find the IMEI number in the SIM card information menu of your Android, of your running Android. And you also can find it on the packaging of the Chaiyu G6, which contains a little sticker where the IMEI is printed on. So once you have this backup, shut down your phone once again and make sure it's not attached to your computer. I am detaching it right now. And now you are going to open the SP Flash Tool version 5 that you have extracted from the downloaded files. So let me just do that. I just have to right click on the Flash Tool executable, click on Run as Administrator and here we go, it's opening up. And now the next thing we are gonna do is to choose the ROM we want to flash on the device. Now I have done this already, I quickly show you how to do it. You need to click on the button scatter loading which is over here. Then you need to navigate into the folder of the ROM which you have extracted as well. 
and click on the MT6592 Android scatter file and click on open. And then you will see all these entries loaded up over here. And what you need to do now is to choose format all plus download so this is very important else the flashing process will not start so i choose this now and then click on download here so now it's waiting for the phone and the next thing i have to do is to attach the phone to my computer i've done this now and as you can see, I get an issue BROM error SCOM port open fail. Let me just quickly look what's this about. So now it did work after a second try. I don't know what it was. Probably I did move the USB cable somehow and did lose contact or something. So now the flashing process started after I tried clicking the download button and attaching the phone to the computer again. And as you can see, now the flashing process is running. It has formatted the phone and on the bottom here you see the progress bar of the flashing process. So right now it's moving all the files of the firmware onto the phone. So let's just wait for this to finish and then we will continue. So now the flashing process has been finished and you see it shows me this little green circle with the checkbox on it. And well, this means the flashing process has been finished successfully. So what we can do now is to close all the stuff and just detach the phone from the USB port of the computer. So let's try if this is still working. I press the on off button and you see it starts to boot up. So I have now booted up the phone again and what you will notice as well everything is Chinese now. So let's quickly fix that. You need to open up the settings here. So on the stock logic just press the menu button, click on this um, on these gears and then swipe to the left and then you go down until you see this icon with the A on it. Press this menu point and then the first menu option and you can choose your language. I'm choosing English now so every one of you understands what I'm doing. So now I'm gonna set up my, my Wi-Fi connection because we need internet connection for the next step. Let me just quickly enter my Wi-Fi key. Here we go and next I need to log into my Google account. I quickly move the phone away from the camera so you don't see my login data. Okay, here we go. So the issue we have now is uh, that the IMEI number is gone and I can show you this at status and sim status and now you well, I need to click on IMEI information, I'm sorry. Um, so here you see IMEI slot 1 unknown and IMEI slot 2 unknown as well. And now we need to fix that. So to do so we need root access and luckily this ROM comes with root access preloaded. So what we need to do is to head over to security, um, then click on the super user switch and enable it, confirm with OK. And what, I, what we need to do next is to open up the Google Play Store and here you search for BusyBox. Now you see this BusyBox application by Steven Sterickson. So let's install this one. This should go for it fairly quickly. So let's just wait for it to finish. And here we are done. Then click on open. Click on allow, close this informational pop-up and then click at install and once it's done it will tell you so. And here we go, now the installation has been finished and we have BusyBox installed. Now this is important for the next step to happen. So before we can continue we need to open up the settings again. Then click on about phone and tap the build number few times just to check wait a moment
usually we should have developer options here now okay i need to reopen it and here you need to check usb debugging is enabled and it is enabled so now we can continue now for the next step you need the adb driver installed on your pc please google for it you will find an automated install for it that this being installed and you're good to go and um, so next attach the phone to your computer with enabled usb debugging then let me just zoom onto the screen then you go uh, towards the folder you extracted all the downloads in and open up mtk droid tools now this is important open up this tool as administrator and then wait for the tool to recognize the phone usually your phone will show a pop-up message and there you show always allow from this computer and then OK. And now it will connect um, to the phone as you can see here. Now we have all the information here. You'll see this little box here is yellow. So let's click the root button. Confirm this with yes. And now we should get root access on this phone. This can take a little while. Okay, now the box is green as you can see. So we have root access here. And now you click this button, IMEI NVRAM. And now you have the ability to enter the IMEI number of your phone into this box. Um, so I will do that now and do a cut afterwards. Um, so you don't see my number and it says the changes will be valid after a reset. So click on OK and then click the re reboot button here in the lower right corner and then click on reboot again. And your phone will reboot now and afterwards your IMEI number will be working as usual as you're used to. Um, from before flashing the ROM and well that's basically the process of flashing and restoring your IMEI number as you can see it's fairly easy just a few steps to do a little bit more complicated than with other phones but still nothing that's overly complicated and I think actually the changes are worth it there are a few little bugs which probably will be resolved within the next version but I think it's just looking a little nicer than before um, let's just have a quick look um, first of all this new launcher settings here um, those look much nicer than before and we can even change the scroll effect here that's really nice the performance is much better and what's also been changed is the multitasking menu um, which isn't working anymore by long pressing the home button but instead you need to double tap the home button and then it will uh, pop up and it's also a lot more a lot smoother than the previous ROM version based on Android 4.2 Jelly Bean and also these widgets for the camera and the audio player are much nicer than before i really like this rom version and i think the new features the new look and well the overall boost of performance is really worth doing this upgrade so thanks for watching this video i hope it was helpful for you and not too hard to understand um, if you like what we are doing at Guest China, please make sure to follow us here on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and of course, Google Plus as well. Again, thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye.